Sometimes we wait to do things perfectly. And because of that, especially those of us who are perfectionists, we end up doing nothing. Because then what happens is that we procrastinate. You know, you tell yourself, until I have the right tools, until I have the right resources, until I have everything I need. But then you realize that time never comes. Today I'm just going to talk about why wait. Get yourself a cup of something and let's talk. One time a colleague of mine gave me a call and they told me, Jackie, I need you to go and see someone who is in hospital. And this person happened to be a lady that I had met, so I knew the person. And they told me, kindly just uh, pay her a visit in the hospital. And he gave me uh, the directions to the hospital. And I knew very well where that hospital was. Then I told them, um, I am not able to go today, but I can make time in two days' time just to go and visit them. A day passed, two days went by, and on the fourth day is when I, I remembered, oh, I was supposed to go and see someone in the hospital. Unfortunately, the time that I had wanted to go, I then see a post that this particular lady had passed on. And at that point, I was really, really sad. Sad not just because she passed on, but because I had lost on time. And many times we find ourselves uh, in such scenarios and maybe even different ones. Sometimes we think we have all the time to do everything we would ever want to do, but then you realize we do not have much time as we think. Sometimes we make decisions to do exercise for example and you say this year i'm gonna do exercise i'm on i'm gonna you know uh, have a different diet i'm going to change this i'm going to change that then the moment you wake up you realize it's already six months down the line and you haven't started nothing therefore why wait why do we wait to do things if I am, for example, to talk about this recording that I'm doing, I remember almost two years ago, close to two years ago, uh, I had an impression in my heart that I needed to start um, a YouTube channel and just have these conversations. And I remember that time I shared the same with my husband. And one thing he told me, he told me, whatever the Lord puts in your heart to talk about, just write it down, begin to just jot down everything that comes to your heart and I remember I obeyed at that time and I started writing anything that would come if I'm in a meeting and the Holy Spirit drops something I would just quickly write it down and I was faithful to do that but then when it came to now executing uh, or rather just doing the recording I was almost uh, always saying oh I'm waiting for the right equipment. I'm waiting for the right environment. I'm waiting to learn this. I'm waiting to learn that. Then I realized months and months and months were passing and I had done nothing. And the reason is because I always waited to do it perfectly. I always waited to do it like so and so and so and so and so and so. But by the time I'm speaking to you, I think the Lord has really worked in my heart to the point that I don't really, um, I'm not really troubled at how it will come out. I know mistakes do happen and we fear doing mistakes in such things, especially if you know that this is going to go out into the world. You want something perfect to go out. But then I realized I am not perfect and if people cannot receive me as raw as I am, then there is no point of me even starting this thing. I just decided to take my phone and you know what, let's do this. I will record because the Lord has impressed it in my heart to do so and I know so many 
are listening and you are in this space and you're like I need to start a project but I need resources I need to put everything in place but let me tell you it's not always that you'll have everything in space why do you have to wait start from where you are if it's a business for example you need to start a business why don't you just you know begin to even listen and watch uh videos on how to do that particular business why don't you use that uh, amount that you have you could be having a few dollars and you're thinking ah this will not help me much but why don't you just start from where you are you can even begin buying a few things that you will need for the business you don't have to buy everything and that has been truly a lesson for me and i will also share the reasons why people wait one of the reasons is people fear you know you fear what will people say how will this come out and that was the case for me i was like you know this needs to be perfect it needs to come out right because you know people have raised standards out there i can't just put something that people will not like and all that and fear causes people not to do things but then you realize where fear is the thing that will come next is procrastination because you will always be waiting and always postponing and always saying i'll do it some other time and for me what i call procrastination it's it's just lack of progress that's what i call procrastination because you will never do you'll always be like i'll do it i'll do it i'll do it and it never gets done so second thing that i'm going to share is thinking that you still have time to do it i think i can tie that up with procrastination because you're there and you're thinking okay i can do it tomorrow then tomorrow comes ah i can do it in the evening and that's the same with prayer sometimes we plan to pray but you and you're like i need to spend time with god so you say okay when i come from work i'll take some time and spend with god and god is so faithful when you come from work you realize you have nothing to do but then you say i i feel so tired i think i'll just do it in the morning when i'm fresh then morning comes and you have to go to work and you have to postpone and the cycle continues and you never get things done even where prayer is concerned the other enemy is feeling like you're not good enough you know you're feeling like you know what somebody else should do it not me i don't feel i'm able to i don't think i'm the best you know i'm best suited to do this and you're thinking somebody else should do it you know that spirit that causes you to feel like you know it it it's almost like you're looking down on yourself and you're thinking somebody else can do it better that's also an enemy also fear of criticism you know you fear what will people say you know um i might put this up on social media and i will receive critics i don't think i'm ready for that and you see life is all about taking risks for me what has made me to just decide you know what i'm going to do this no matter what is because i know i have god in it god is in it He is the one who uh, impressed this in my heart to do it. Whether it's going to be to be terrible in the eyes of the people, I am going to do it. So, as long as you know God is with you, and you know that you have, you know His word concerning what you're about to do, please go ahead and do it, baby girl. Do it. Don't fear. Don't allow those voices, you know, critics. and you know naysayers and all these voices to cause you not to do what god is calling you to do so i'm going to encourage you to start that which you have been promising yourself you will do if it is changing your diet start now the next meal you're going to have make sure it's it's a balanced diet that's how you start if it's prayer do it now start even if it's just 5 minutes and say the next 5 minutes i'm going to spend time with god that's how you start you 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 know you don't have to do 
uh, one hour thing or two hours of prayer and you know doing all that just start with your five minutes you're able to do five minutes do it if it's a business start small you know take in bite sized chunks rather that you're able to you know take in do it as you know in a small way as you can do it consistently and you will see you will see the fruit and god will will keep on you know cheering you on you just do it don't fear if it's changing diet change diet if you've promised yourself i'll start to exercise start now if you're writing a book just start with that you know write it down on your on your on your uh, notebook just write half a paragraph just begin with that and you will see yourself progressing slowly by slowly but surely if you've promised yourself you want to move houses you know do it don't fear if it's clearing your debt start where you are and as i'm talking about debt, this is something that my spiritual father really helped me um to start doing i remember i had a debt whoa i didn't know that i would ever finish it and i remember he told me how much do you pay per month and i told him it was so much it would eat up on my budget and it got to a point where i stopped paying because now i needed to pay my bills so he told me don't pay a lot of money especially if you're not able to what you need to do is just pay something small but do it consistently for example pay like just five dollars every month but just make sure that every month on a particular date you pay that amount and i thought wow i think that's something i can be able to do and i realized i used to pay just something small but i would make it every month because it was something i could easily do and I realized I was not being called by my <laughs> by my creditors. They were not calling me, and I found myself, you know, walking slowly towards finishing up the debt. So just start uh, in a in a in a very small way, you know. Just cut your coat according to your clothes, and you will be able to do it. If you've made a decision and said, you know what, I just want to change my wardrobe do it a step at a time just say you know i want to now start with the trousers i'm gonna be changing my trousers you know even if every month i'm just going to be buying two trousers at a time do it but just make sure you do it in a way that is manageable and you're doing it very consistently i hope this will encourage somebody if you're able to i kindly ask you to share this share with as many people as you can because i know this will help someone somewhere who is thinking when am i gonna ever do anything in my life and by you sharing this you'll be helping a people to just start from where they are things don't have to be complicated we don't need to complicate things but we only need to start where we are start today start as soon as you can just start